Ragnarok. Come day of wrath, O pulse the sea. That sounds like... Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn. That fallen souls might bear our plea. Sounds like Sarah. To hasten the divine's return. O piteous wanderer, Ragnarok. Make of this day a brave epoch. It is Deliver Sarah. Deliver the divine. Ragnarok. What? Sarah. How did you... <sighs> I was waiting for you to open your eyes. <sighs> Why doesn't it sound like All Sarah? The time I was asleep. I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Something doesn't Sarah. feel right here. <laughs> you get it now. There are no gods with miracles to save us. No matter where you look. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! You can't do that. You love me too much. You do, don't you, Claire? Claire? Enough already! <laughs> Listen up. We are all shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that <gasps> is this. Okay, that was just dirty. You son of a... <laughs> Wait, is it, does Snow never learn? You betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days, with no hope of salvation. I didn't think foul sea had the means. Oh, it won't be foul sea who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? Didn't he die? Reigns? He's alive? <laughs> the puppet is restrung to serve my needs, yes. Its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel. And imagine, when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings, what happens next? What? Uh, You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> perhaps. Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. He Either plays way, dirty. the end is at hand. I don't like this guy. <laughs> but what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Greet the end here, in the land where it all began. And now, the second battle against Bartandalus. Alright, I am going to do... Not this. It's not bad, but I don't want this one. I want this one right here. Alright, so... Abilities. I need protect and shell. Yeah, on snow. There we go. And do the same thing on Saz. And do the same thing on Neil. And basically, what this does is it, is it makes it so you probably won't need to use a sentinel. And all right, let's do I'm some more. Your toys. 
Alright, so now, just beat him up. Thankfully, this guy staggers quite a bit easier than, uh, than his previous one. Alright, uh, let's go retire this card. This is Commando Commando Medic. Also got aggression. Do aggression here. Get his gauge up a little higher. Take some of those health out. Um, he, uh, he changes form every so often. You just see saw that he uh, went from two singing heads to four. And I guess I'm on days right now. And he went back to that. So let's go to diversity. Uh, Apophysis is very annoying. What it does is it removes all of our buffs and his debuffs. Much appreciated. As I said, very annoying. So let's go to see who is it. Abilities, protect shelf on myself, and repeat on size. Am I gonna need the uh, healing? Much appreciated. Perhaps heal. All right. Uh, here's charge. Get some healing going on. Now this battle is significantly easier than the first one, I think. Uh, but you still don't really want to uh, screw around. I mean, he can, he can still kill you. You gotta be really good with your uh, with your leveling. I've got all of my characters up to uh, their max in all three rolls. I got Snow pretty far up in Synergist. I said do uh, medic for him. Yeah, do medic for him. But after that. Definitely head for the synergist role because he's got amazing synergist abilities for having a uh, secondary role. With him. Um, he's also not bad as a side he's, he's one of the best all-around characters, actually. Uh, except he doesn't have strong neck, and there are issues with his ravager role. But uh, yeah, as I said in, in a video quite a while ago. He only has the snow and or the uh, ice and the. Great. Um, let's go up to the other. He only has the ice and water abilities for Radical. So it's kind of uh, difficult to affect him in some ways. Or affect the, uh, the opponents. If they're fire based, you can do something, but if they're uh, weak against fire. He doesn't really have the abilities to do much with it. I want to do Tyler's Charge again. And, uh, have Vanilla do some healing while we smack him some. Alright, let's go to Superiority. Yeah, I need to, uh, protect. Oh, I'm on base. Oh, I'm on those on the side. I can uh, attack, but I can't do any magic. Let's see that ghost here. Maybe, uh, maybe we can be able to get rid of that. There we go. Fog's disappearing. I need some healing, anyways. Here's charge. Much appreciated. Any haste, thank you. Haste on me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so, uh. I'm gonna try to get protect and show on you again. Snow. And do the same thing on Neil first, because he's got best total health. I mean, I really hope not. Alright, so, uh, heal please, thank you. <laughs> that was a little close. Close than I wanted to be. Um, let's go to diversity. Get that stagger gauge up a little bit. Relentless. Actually, maybe could have gone to aggression. Uh, that's good enough for about 500. And... There we go. He's done! 
Not too bad. Five stars. And we get a goddess's favor out of that. Pretty cool. He doesn't die easy, though. The time has come. <laughs> Allow me to extend my invitation. To save a people beyond salvation, there is only Ragnarok. <laughs> now for another chance at the bird ship. Cocoon suffers. Release her from the pain. What? Well then, that was fun. Um, gonna go back and save, because I think it's worth saving. Uh, where are we? I knew there was a save station. There it is. I have uh, gone and changed my setup just a little bit. Guess what, guys? I can change my screen so that it fills up my entire computer. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's do that one just in case I have issues. Alright, save completed. Alright, so now we've got a choice. We can stay here and uh, explore Cocoon, or explore Pulse a little more, but we can head back to Cocoon. Well, there's not an awful lot left for us to do on Pulse. I mean, there's... There's a whole bunch of marks we can do, the, the missions here, but the problem is a lot of them are really tough. And by really tough, I mean they can still one-shot us. There's one mark that does 5,000... No, scratch that, 10,000 points of damage for each attack. And right now I've got 5,300 in my strongest character. I can't counteract that. What's this one? Why am I going to a loading screen? So, this is the end of the rainbow, huh? Well, here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot Falci. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to crystal. Where the slaves of Lindsay dwell is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alpha C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy, and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Falci, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed Alice, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete. The Lassi were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, Lassi who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. That's interesting. <sighs> 